Hello everyone. Today we will learn the active and passive voice in the past tense. As we know, past tense is divided into four parts. Simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Let's learn them all in detail. First, simple past. To change a sentence of simple past tense into passive voice, we use the auxiliary verbs was and were. In affirmative, we follow the structure of subject, V2 and object. V2 here means the second form of the verb. And to change it into passive, we use the structure object, was verb, V3, by and subject. As we know, the affirmative sentence in simple past tense do not have any helping verb or the auxiliary verb. So to change it into negative, we use the auxiliary did. So the structure of negative sentence will be subject, did, not, v1 and object. And in passive we will write object, was, were, not, v3, by and subject. Same it goes with the interrogative sentence also. We use the auxiliary did, subject, v1 and object. And in passive we use was, were, object, v3, by and subject. Let's see the examples. First, we read a novel. Here, don't have to confuse as read is the second form of the verb here in simple past tense. If it was present or if it is a given, it must be reads. So, see the example now. He read a novel. He is subject. Read is the simple past tense form of the verb, mean the second form of the verb, a novel object. According to this structure, we we'll use object first, a novel, auxiliary was, read, third form of the verb, by, and then object of the subject, him. So the sentence will be a novel was read by him. In negative, it is not by a book. So, a book was not bought by him. Did she purchase books? Did is helping verb here. She, subject, purchase, verb and books, object. As our subject is plural, so we will use the auxiliary for here. Were, books, purchased by her. Next it is past continuous tense. In past continuous tense, we use the auxiliaries was and were itself with being. So in affirmative, we follow the structure of subject, was, were, v1, ing and object. And to change into passive, we use object, was, were, being, v3, by and subject. Same it goes with the negative and interrogative. Let's see the examples. She was washing a shirt. Here, she is subject. Was is the auxiliary verb. Washing is verb. A shirt is object. According to the structure, we will put the object first. So, a shirt. Auxiliary was and were is used in the active voice. So, we use was and were itself with being. So, a shirt was being. Third form of wash is washed by her. A shirt was being washed by her. Negative, I was not chopping vegetables. So, vegetables is object here. Vegetables were not. Because vegetables, our subject is plural. So, we have used were. Vegetables were not being chopped by me. Interrogative, was Ritika buying a table? As Ritika is singular. So, we, we have used was. As well as our object, a table is similar, so we will use was. Was a table being bought by Ritika. Next, past perfect tense. In past perfect tense, we use the auxiliary verb had with being to make it passive. So in affirmative sentence, we use subject had v3 and object. And to make it passive, we use object had been v3 by and subject. 
in negative we use subject had node v3 object and in passive object had node b v3 by subject interrogative had subject v3 object and passive voice had object b v3 by and subject examples they had won the match here they is subject had is the auxiliary verb one is the verb the match is object so the sentence according to the structure will be the match had been won by them in negative she had not created this masterpiece this masterpiece had not been created by her an interrogative had she completed the work had the work been completed by her last but not the least past perfect continuous tense here we have to remember that we do not have any passive form of past perfect continuous tense that's all for today thank you